Good morning, class, and happy Thursday. Almost done with the week. It's going by quick for me. Anyways, today for math, we're going to talk about divisibility. Divisibility. Okay, it's a hard word for me to say. Um, so what exactly does it mean? Divi divisible by. Okay, means if you divide one number by another, result is a whole number without a remainder. Keyword, without a remainder. Means it's divide. No, it's evenly goes into. 12 divided by 6 equals 2. No remainder, so it's divisible by 6. 15 divided by 5 is 3. No remainder, so 15 is divisible by 3. Okay. Another way of saying this is that every whole number is divisible by its factors. We talked about factors last year, uh, factors of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. 1 times 12 is 12. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. So those are all factors of it. They're all factors of 12. Um, Whenever you factor out a number, you're always going to end up with an even number of factors. You're never going to have an odd number of factors. So when we have to work with factor trees later on for simplifying fractions and for adding our unlike denominators, you're going to, you'll need to remember that. Keep that tucked in the back of your head. Always end up with an even number of factors. All right? So every number is divisible by itself and by one. Most numbers are also divisible by other factors. So those that aren't divisible by one are called, let me get my typing ready to go. They are called prime numbers. Okay, you learned about those already, right? That's why we learned about it, because you're going to need to learn, you need to know about these. So prime numbers, um, two. Two is only dividable by itself and one number, one. Um, three, one and three. Uh, four, no, four is not a prime number because you can divide two, two times two is four. Uh, seven, seven is a prime number. 11 is a prime number. The list goes on and on, but we won't get into that too much. Just remember prime numbers. Okay, so divisibility by 2, 5, and 10. Those are the first three easiest ones to remember. Divisibility by 2. If the last digit is even, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, it's dividable by 2. You can divide it by 2. So... You know, 222 is dividable by 2. 357, nope, that's an odd number on the end, so it won't work. So it ends in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. It's divisible by 2. You can divide it by 2. Okay, Disvisibility, divisibility rule number for number 5. Any number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is a 5 or a 0. Okay? Basic one on that. 5 or 0, it's divisible by 5. You can divide 5 into it. Okay? Divisibility rule for number 10. A number can divide it, be divided by 10 if the last digit is a 0. But wait, Mr. Kalberg, you just told us about 5 and 0. Yep. There's some that overlap. So if you see a number and you're looking at it, it says 5, it ends in a 0. But the other number in your denominator maybe doesn't end in a 0, but ends in a 5. You know you can reduce the fraction by using the 5 instead of a 0. Okay? So... Last number is a zero. Look at the other number that when you're reducing the fractions. See what you get. Okay, those three simple basic rules. We're going to get into a little bit trickier ones. Divisibility 
by three and nine. I laugh every time I have to say that word. Okay, Divis divisibility rule number th for number three. A number is divided, divisible by three if, if the sum of the digits is a three or a multiple of three. So we talk about multiples of three. What are we talking about? Three, six, nine, 12, 15. Just counting by threes. Okay? So let's check this out. We have a 627. We're going to see if it's divisible by three. So I'm going to take my six plus my two plus my seven gives me 15. Is 15 divisible by three? Three times five is 15, so that one will work. Okay? All right, let's look at 300 or 3,287. So I'm going to add up my digits. So first thing I do is I got a 7 and a 3. I know that's a 10. I 8 and a 2. I know that's a 10. So that gives me a 20. That's where this mental math and this number sense that we're talking to you about and having you practice your stuff, your additions, and your subtractions, that's where this pays off. You can add these up right in your head, right? So what do we say? We have a 20. So is 20, 20 divisible by 3? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Nope, 3 times 7 is 21. And 3 times 6 is 18, so that one won't work. We know 3 won't go into that. 4,002. So easy add up. 4 plus 2 is 6. So we know 6 is divisible by 3 because 3 goes into 6, right? 3 times, three times 2 is 6. All right, let's see. Let's do this one just so I can show you how it works. So we're working three. Four thousand and two. Three goes into four one time. Bring my three. One, zero. That's a one and a zero. So three goes into 10 how many times? Three. Three times three is nine. Bring my nine down. Got to start writing smaller. One. Bring my other zero down, right? We brought that zero down to there. Bring that one down to there. Three goes into 10 three times. Nine. Gives me a one. Carry my two down. Three into 12. Three times four is 12. No remainder, right? Gives us, so we know when you divide 4,002 by three, you come up with one, three, three, four, okay? So I have 1334. If I look at this last number, it's a 4. So what's that going to tell me? We can still divide that number by 2. All right? But that comes later on. All right, so let's 37,782. Man, that's a long number. So we could go by 2 and then, divide, you know, and it just take all day. We just be keep going and going and going. So what we're going to do, go back up here to my rule, the sum of the last three digits, or I mean, sorry, I'm sorry, the sum of the digits is a three or a multiple of three, all the digits. So 37,784, I got a three and a seven. Mental math gives me a 10. I got a... Seven and a two gives me a nine, but I should take the one, so that gives me a ten. Make that a seven, twenty, seven. Right? So what's three twenty-seven? Is that a multiple of three? Yes, it is, because three 
times 9 equals 27. So if we get do the math on this one, we'll be here all day if I keep doing this, so I won't do it. But yes, this one's divisible by 3. We end up with 12,594. Okay? So that's the visibility rule for threes. Let's move on to nine. A number is divisible by nine if the sum of all the digits add up to a nine or multiple nine. So it's really similar to our three, right? All right, 627. We just found out that that's 15, right, from before? So nine, that's not, that won't work. Okay, let's look at 3,278. We figured out that that's a 20. So it's 20 divisible by nine. Nine and nine is 18, nope. So that one won't work. 4,002. Four, five, six. Right? So that's not a divisible by nine, so that one's not going to work. Okay, 37,782. We know that one is 27, right? When you add all the digits up, we come up with 27. So we already know 3 times 9. 27. So we know this is going to be divisible by 9. Okay? Now, we already found out that this was divisible by 3 up here, right? So whenever I have something like that, and I know it adds up to 3, and I know it's divisible by 3, I always check the 9 just to see why I'm doing it. Just me personally, so kind of a good little trick is to look at 9 while you're looking at 3. Okay? Another thing where we can help us out when we're doing these divisibilities, okay, is to regroup. See, we already know we know that 1240, we know by our 10 rule that it's divisible by 10. So we knocked that off, and we already know it's 10. So that leaves us with 120, oops, 124 tens and zero ones. Okay, so we, we know it's divisible by 10, and we know it's divisible by 2. Is it divisible? It's not divisible by 9, and it's not divisible by 3. Okay. Six rule, visibility by six. A number can divide, be divided by six if the last digit is even and the sum of all three digits is three or a multiple of three. So we got a couple things to check when we come across one of those. You see a little bird right here with his checklist, right? Okay, so in other words, it must be divisible by both two that's where we get the even from, right? You with me on that? Ooh. Two is even. And multiple of three. Three, six, nine, twelve. Okay? So let's check some numbers out. 348. Oops, let me back up there. 348. It's even, right? So we can check number two off. We know it's an even number, so first check. Even.
we can check that off. It's multiple of two. We know it's we know it's can be multiple. We know it can be divided by two. So the next part of the rule of three is if it adds up most yeah. the sum of all the digits is three or a multiple of three. So we add our digits up. Eight. 4, 5, 6, 7, and 7, 14 plus 1 is 15. Is that a multiple of 3? 3 times 5 is 15. So, yep, that works. So that's divisible by 6. Okay, 2,987. Is it an even number? Do we have an even number at the last digit? Nope. So right away we know that one's not going to work for six, okay? So five thousand six hundred thirty, even number on the end. Yep, we have the even number. So now we add up our digits. All right, six plus three is nine plus five is fourteen. So is fourteen divisible by three? 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nope. So that one's not going to work. That one won't work either. 46,524. I'd hate to do all the division and everything. Okay, we know it's got a 4 on it, so we know it's divisible by 2. So we can divide it by 2, and then we figure out, well, we just be here all day doing division. So we got an even number. Yep. So we know it's divisible by two. We know it's first part of our rule for six works. So next part of the rule, if the sum of all the digits is divisible by three, okay? So 46, we know four plus six is 10. Okay, five plus four is nine plus another two is 11. So that gives me 21. So is 21 divisible by 3? 3 times 7 is 21. 21. So yep, that's divisible by 6. So it ends up being 7, 7, 5, Four. Okay. All right, so six. We'll do the math just so I can prove to you it works. Six goes into forty six. Six times seven, forty two. Give me a four, carry my five down. Forty five, six times seven is forty two again. Forty gives me a three. Bring my two down. That's a two. That's not a. Let me back that up because that doesn't look good. Looks like a zero. Bring my two down. Okay, and we know that six times five, right, is thirty. Once again, mental math helps with these. Two is my remainder, bring my four down. Six times four. 
24. Okay, so 7754, 7754. All right, that's divisibility rule by six. If the last digit is even and it's divisible, divisible by three, that means six works. Four and eight, up to those. Divisibility rule for four. Numbers divisible by four. If the number made by the last two digits can be divided by four. So all we're concerned about is the last two digits. So we all we have to do is look at these. Now, it doesn't say that we're adding them. It just says that the last two digits can be made by, can be divided by four. So all we have to do before we divide this whole big number by four, all we have to do is divide 66 by four. One, four. Twenty-six. That doesn't look like a six. Ah. Oh, stop. Okay, we're back. We got my screen back. Okay, so where was I? Let's just start all over again. We're going to start with this one so we get a clean slate. So, six, 400, or 66 divided by 4. We got 1 goes into 1 times 4 is 4. Carry my 2 down. Bring the 6 down next to my 2. So 4 times 6 and 6 is 12 plus 12 is 24. Nope, that doesn't work. So we know 4 does not work for 3,466. What about 1,288, 1,288? So all we're doing is looking at the last two numbers. Now right away I can look at that and say, yep, that's going to work. Because the last two numbers divisible, divisible by 4, 4 goes into 8 two times, 4 goes into 8 two times, so 22. Okay? That one works. That's a good one. Yay. That's a star. All right, 3, 39,804. Last two digits, divisible, divisible by four. Yep, that one's going to work. We already know that because four is divisible by four, right? Four goes into four one time. Okay. Forty sixty four thousand six hundred eighty four. Again, eighty four. We know four go into eight two times, goes into itself one time, so that one's going to work too. This is visibility rule for eight. Last one on our list today. Number by A, if the last three digits, the last three, divisible by eight. Okay, let's see. Three thousand four hundred sixty-six, the last three, right? We're looking at the last three.
466. Five times eight is 40. That's a six, guys. Make it look like a six. Five times eight is 40. Give me a remainder of six. Bring down my other six. 66. Five times, or eight times eight is 64. So that's not going to work. That gives me a remainder of two. And that's not, we can't have remainders, right? So that one won't work. 28 or two, 1,288. So eight in eight, 2,000 or 200. Divided by eight. Three times eight is 24. Once again, mental math pays off. Forty-eight or leaves me a four. Bring my eight down. Six times eight is 48. So that one works. Thirty nine thousand eight hundred four. Once again, we're just concerned with the last six or last three digits right now. So looking at that, I could go eight. It goes into eight one time, but eight's not going to go into zero four. So that one's not going to work. See, I didn't even have to sit there and divide it by eight to try and figure out if that was going to be a divisible by eight. I could just right away, real quick. Okay, six thousand or sixty-four thousand six hundred eighty-four. Last three. Six eighty-four. Okay, so six eighty-four. Six. Divided by eight. Eight times eight is 64. Four, bring my other four down. So, Six times eight is 48, so it's not six. Five times eight is 40. So that one's not going to work. Okay? So that's divisibility by eight. So here's a quick review. I'd write these down and I'd save them. I'd put them up on a board when you're going to need these. These will be helpful. Save you a lot of time and a lot of aggravation. Okay? Last divisibility rules review. Two. The last digit will be an even number. Two, four, six, eight, zero. For three, all the digits will add up to a multiple of three. Three, six, nine, twelve. 15, 18, 21, keeps going, right? Number for number four, the number can be made by the la the number made by the last two digits can be divided by four. So it doesn't matter if you have a 24 digit number, if the last two digits are zero four, it's gonna four is gonna be the number. Okay? For five, the last digit will be a five or zero. Five, 10, 15, 20, 
six, the last digit will be even. Rule for number two, and the digits will add up to a multiple of three. So you're looking for two first, or an even number, and then you're looking for a three. So two, four, six, eight, zero, and put a three, add up to three, six works. Eight, the number made up by the last three digits will be divisible by eight. All right, write these down, keep them handy because you're gonna need them. We'll be using those when we get into reducing fractions and finding the lowest common denominators and all those good things we're getting ready to do. Nine, the sum of the digits will be a nine or a multiple of nine. And what last but not least is 10. The digit will be a zero. The last digit's a zero. 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 80, 2,000, 10,000, 100,000. Remember our place values from doing the uh, metric system a couple weeks ago, right? We just moved that decimal spot. It's kind of what you're doing here, place value. All right, it says here there's no easy test for seven. Seven is a real complicated one, but it's really hard, so we don't even worry about it. If you, okay? That's it. I'll give you a worksheet. Well, I forgot this was at the end of the slideshow. There's really quick review about why you can't divide by zero. So you don't have to know this. This is just, I thought it was really cool. A good way to explain it. What times zero is equal to 12? 12 divided by 0 is 12. So, anyways, I just thought I'd show it to you.